everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a reading around who will you marry? So the first card we have is Appetite. The next one we have is Rose Quartz. We then have Apophyllite and Celestite. So I'm going to show you the cards up close as well. So we have Appetite, we have Rose Quartz, we have Apophyllite, and we also have celestite, okay? So choose whatever you are most drawn to and let's get started. So starting off with group number one, appetite. Hello, group number one, those of you who chose the card of appetite. So let's see who your person is who you're going to marry. So first of all, we have the card of appetite. So appetite is a crystal that's very gentle. I feel like it's very much to do with your emotions. I'm feeling like Cancerian energy. Very, very beautiful. Try not to set it alight with my candle. <laughs> and then the next one we have is Golden Healer Quartz, open the door. So this is very, very beautiful. I feel like this is very much really kind of you being in a different zone. I feel like this is you being in kind of a zone of concentrating on yourself. And I really feel like there's some energy of kind of getting out your own way and being more being more able to approach who you are in a sense where you can really kind of be yourself okay so um so the next card we have is let's see which one do we want to do let's do oh we have another one i did not see that so we also have trust your intuition so that's very very beautiful so this is very much to do with coming into your own coming into your own energy really being who you are and trusting in your spiritual journey really being open to spreading your wings so this person who you're going to meet is going to be very much in the same boat they would have gone through quite a big change a sort of change where need to burp that's clarification um a sort of change where they've really worked on themselves and have opened the door to kind of new opportunities okay so the fact we have trust your intuition is really coming through for me that you guys have really worked on yourself and are really trusting that spiritual journey that you're on and you're not judging yourself. So this person, to meet them, I feel like it will be in a new place, okay? I feel like it will be a place where you haven't ever been before or it may be because you're feeling different within yourself. Therefore, that will be that new place. So it can be inward or outward. But I definitely feel like getting out of your comfort zone in <clears throat> whatever way will be good for you. I feel like it will really serve you, especially to do with your throat chakra. I really feel that for you guys. Really coming into your own, really being um, focused on yourself and really connecting with who you are, okay? So let's have a look at the next cards. Let's have a look and see what we have here. So we have fourth house and cancer, which is really funny because I was say, literally saying about the um, water signs. So I really feel like for you guys, it's so important for you to connect with your um, inner child and this will help to support you in your safety. The cancer card, I really feel like you could be meeting a cancer. You could be meeting somebody who is near your home. You could have cancer in your fourth house or this person could have cancer in their fourth house. There's somebody who's very caring. There's somebody who's very gentle and genuine. And there's somebody who will really be there for you when you need it. And there's somebody who will most likely you have children with or you will, I'm hearing, share a bed with. So that's great for those of you who will share a bed with your your person, which most likely you will, but having married them. Um, but I feel like this person's very nurturing. It's almost like they're giving you the pearl. It's almost like they're giving you that beauty in your life and they're adding something beautiful to you. I feel like you're gonna feel so much more in your own energy, especially with this cancer here where it's like, you're really focusing on yourself and becoming open to kind of new possibilities, okay? So let's have a look at the next cards. Okay, we have flattery and we also have status. This is really, really beautiful. So I feel like for you, it's definitely a confidence thing. I really feel like you're working on your confidence. You're working on becoming more confident with yourself and growing because of it. I feel like this person is very intelligent. I feel like they're open to change and there's somebody who most likely will have a bit of Gemini in their chart or they're going to be just very intelligent and they probably can't sit still. There's somebody who will just keep going, 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 going. And they're probably somebody, who, oops, they're probably somebody who is quite high in status they probably have quite a big following or there's somebody who wants to be quite famous probably like in a singer way or an actor way or actress you know somebody who really 
claims their power and I feel like that's really really beautiful I am getting quite a lot of fire from this energy as well and we are going to pull some more tarot cards to kind of focus in on this person so I definitely feel like this person they may have the life path of three and two three is about communication and uh, creativity I'm actually hearing competition so it may be a sense of le letting go of competition the status here is also showing me that this person is very high and prestigious and they really kind of connect with that sense of status they liked having people who kind of follow them in a way okay so let's see what else we have so tell me about this person please okay we're going to pull quite a few cards just to really kind of get in detail with this person we have the magician we have the star beautiful we have the five of swords there's somebody who can give themselves headaches because they think a lot they're very intelligent though and I think that's probably can be a downfall as well because they just think so much and they probably think a lot different to other people and therefore can feel quite alone sometimes. So I feel like you could be a fire sign or they're a fire sign and um, they're somebody who's very determined and has gone through quite a lot of intensity in their life. They've gone through a lot of pain, a lot of suffering but they're really kind of tuning into their own energy now and they're very determined to get where they want to go. So this is really beautiful. I love this energy so much, especially with the magician and the star. You're definitely going to have a brand new start with this person. This is definitely destined. Like I feel like it's divine timing. So for those of you who are wondering about timing, I literally feel like it is in divine timing as it mostly is. And when I get this card, it especially is telling me that it is in divine timing. And the five of swords is showing me that this person has definitely gone through a, possibly a lot of breakups or just a lot of stress. And they're learning to really focus on themselves they can be very, I'm hearing careless, but in a good way, it's like they care for other people more than themselves. I don't know how to explain it, but they just keep saying careless, careless. Like they care less about themselves and more about other people. I hope that makes sense. I don't really know, but when I get messages, it can be quite confusing. So the three of swords, this person most likely loves travel. They could have a bit of sag in their chart. I am sensing water and fire from this group, but they're they're very like prestigious. I'm hearing like they're very, their status is very important to them. They're, they're somebody who really likes to travel and probably doesn't sit still for very long. Um, the 10 of swords is showing me that they're ending an old cycle as well as you are. And they're coming into a really beautiful place of ownership of themselves. Like they're really coming into a strong place. So if you can get into this place of really accepting yourself for who you are, this person will come in and it will be absolutely beautiful and you guys will really come into a beautiful place where you're both like super, super confident and you can really kind of reach for the stars and it's really important for you to acknowledge that everything's going to be okay and the more you focus on confidence and yourself, the more you're going to get to where you're going and I think, it, as I say, it's definitely about getting out of your comfort zone. That's going to really kind of bring in this person. Um, I will kind of, I think I will, um, let's pick up on some dice, actually. Let's get a bit more info on this person. So um, let's see about their zodiac sign and things like that. Here we go. We have Cancer, we have Mars, and we also have the 10th house. So 10th oh, and the 11th house okay so 10th house is about career it's about responsibilities it's that kind of prestigious status so there's somebody who if they do have cancer in their 10th house or the moon in their 10th house it means they care deeply about what they're doing they want to deeply care about something and really kind of go towards it and the mars being that they're very very determined having that water and fire in their chart really really strongly um, we're going to have a look a little bit deeper and see what else we got here. So let's have a look at how you'll meet them. Let's see. Come on, gimme. This is what I'm saying. I feel like it's definitely in divine timing, you guys. Sometimes when it's harder to get the dice out, it's harder to kind of pick up on who the person is. So concert or pub. So it's going to be somewhere that's kind of out and about. It could be a fair. It could be like a food, bait, something like that. Okay. Let's see, uh, okay, so when, this year, okay, so it could be this year whenever you're watching this hair colour, oh, sorry, is this hair colour or is this eye colour, eye colour, mixed eye colour, and then let's have a look at their hair colour, ginger, so they could have ginger or brown hair, their eye colour could be mixed, so like greeny blue, bluey brown, that sort of thing. Okay, is there anything else I want to look into? I think that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to 
uh, subscribe and like. I would really appreciate the support. Um, thank you so much for, again, for supporting me. And if you would like a private reading, all the information is down below as usual. And also my crystal shop is down below if you want to check that out. I do custom made crystal jewelry as well. You can have your any crystal on any piece of jewelry that you would like. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's coming in for you in your marriage. Let's see who you're going to marry. So we have the card of, we have the crystal of rose quartz. We also have Amazonite. So both of these are really, really similar. <clears throat> I feel like both of these, <clears throat> okay, a lot of you are working on your throat chakra. <laughs> I keep coughing. So we have open up your heart and loosen your grip. So both of these are very, very similar energies. It's very much to do with kind of connecting with who you are and really connecting with um, getting safety, feeling safety around love and not being like, not holding on too tight. I really feel that for you guys. And with open up your heart, it's really showing me that you guys need to um, protect, and it's the feeling of protecting yourself. So really working on that energy and knowing that you don't have to protect yourself all the time and you can work on this energy and you can be with somebody who really, really appreciates you and really wants to be with you because of who you are, okay? So next card out we have is commitment. So somebody who's going to be in it for the long haul, someone who's going to be in it for a very long time and you're most likely going to have children with this person and it's going to be somebody who really treats you well, somebody who is very much on your wavelength and somebody who really kind of opens you up to new possibilities and I feel like for some of you this could be the first commitment that you've had in a, like a really long time or even ever like some of you could be very young or you could be a sort of person who hasn't actually um, manifested a partnership yet like properly and now you are manifesting that which is really beautiful so let's see what else we have we have the 10th house of reputation and Aquarius innovator so this is showing me that this person is very much to do with their career there's somebody who is quite they're quite interested in having quite high status or somebody who really works on themselves i'm hearing king and queen so you're most likely going to be the king and the queen of this relationship you're going to have you're going to be the sort of couple that people want them for themselves you know like they look at you and they're like oh i want that for me you know and aquariuses are very very intelligent you know i mean all star signs are intelligent um aquarius is especially in a way where they can really connect with other people. They just don't really judge anyone. So I feel like this person is, could be Aquarius Sun, or they could have it quite prominently in their chart somewhere um, where it's gonna be very influential. And they're a very influential person. They're somebody who is very unique. They don't really play by the rules, but they are very gentle. I feel like they're somebody who's very gentle. They do have quite high standards, but um, it's in a way that it's good because it means that they're only gonna be with somebody who is perfectly suited for them, okay, you. Okay, so let's see what else we have. We then have birth, beautiful. We then have criticism, yep, I'm feeling that. Um, adaptability, and we also have lust. So very, very sensual relationship, somebody who is almost explosive when you guys are together. Sorry, there's a hair on my, on my table. Um, I feel like this is gonna be a brand new relationship. This is something you've never ever had before and we have Venus in Cancer, so I'm really being drawn to that. So some of you may have Venus in Cancer um, and we have Mars in uh, Virgo. So this person, if they do have that in their chart, they could have, maybe not, they don't have to, but I feel like this person can be very critical on themselves because they have a certain standard that they like to keep themselves by, especially having that Virgo in there as well. Virgos can be very perfectionism very perfectionism, um, perfectionist, but that's also a good thing because it means, as I say, this person wants a stand, a very high standard, and I feel that's, that could be you as well. You want someone who's really going to treat you right, right, right. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I could be talking to somebody right now who has a lisp as well. I'm feeling like I'm just kind of stumbling on my words, so this may be this person or maybe you who possibly has a little bit of a speech, a uh, situation going on. Um, it could be you're kind of suffering with your throat chakra or something like that where you're learning to um, really speak your truth and that's going to bring this person in because when you meet them you're not you're going to have those high standards as well and therefore meet them on the same level so I do feel like you both are very much perfectionists which I think is really good because both of you are going to have a relationship where you both are continuously working on yourself and this lust energy is really really explosive it's very very uh, watery but also fiery which I think is really really beautiful 
and it's going to be a relationship where you feel extremely comfortable with that person okay so let's have a look at the tarot and let's see what we have going on Alrighty, I'm getting a ring. I'm hearing, I'm feeling a ring on my finger. It feels obviously marriage. But I feel like you guys are maybe touching a ring right now. We'll be playing with a ring while you're talking to this. Talking? While you're listening to this reading. Wow. Mercury retrograde hitting me full force right now with that throat chakra energy. Okay, so quite similar to group number one, where you this person's very, very determined. There's somebody who works on their finances they could be a earth sign as well specifically taurus i'm feeling um you're going to have an amazing relationship with this person you're going to have children it's going to be really really beautiful very very happy and we also have the world card here as well so this is showing me that it's going to be very very positive and it's going to be like very explosive like when you meet this person you're most likely going to know this is the right one because it just feels so easy and there's going to be no doubt about how you feel within yourself. And I think if the more you nurture yourself, the more you're going to bring this person in. It's like I kind of figured out a, a saying, which is kind of similar to a video that I already filmed. But it's kind of the shortened version where you say, say if you're feeling sad, you say, I acknowledge that I feel sad and that's OK. I feel like that's a really good way of doing it because it's basically accepting that you feel that and not judging yourself. And that's what I feel like you're going you're gonna to be doing. And I feel like the more you do this, the more you're going to bring in somebody who also gives you that energy externally. And therefore, you're going to meet each other on the same wavelength. And I love this because there's like a droplet, but it's also her crown, like at the top here, which I think is really, really beautiful. Okay, so underneath we have the sun. So manifesting a fire sign. Manifest is somebody who really connects with you on all levels. I feel like I need to just pull one more card. Okay, we have the eight of wands. So I feel like this is just going to be a really fast relationship. They move quite fast. For some of you, they move quite fast. For others of you, they move quite slowly. But whatever you are picking up on and whatever kind of suits your nature, or, you know, whatever's meant to be will be, you know. Um, we also have the hangman sliding out here. So this is going to be a massive revelation. I feel like you're going to go for a massive revelation before you meet this person. You've been for a lot, though. This person's going to help you manifest this, the person that you need in your life and this five of pentacles you've kind of been looking for this person in other people so possibly there hasn't been the right person yet who's really kind of helped you unlock what's happening but you had the potential to unlock things for yourself and therefore manifest this person and here we've got like the key with the lock so you're gonna bring in this person it's going to be really really beautiful okay so let's have a look at some dice apologies with the light is going in and out i am trying out a new camera so Alrighty, let's see. Okay, so we have Venus, we have Sag, and we also have the ninth house. So I'm pretty sure Sag rules the ninth house, forgive me if I'm wrong. Um, but I thought like this person is going to be very, like, they're always going to want to do things with you. They're always going to be very, very open, very genuine. And I don't know why the lighting is really weird, but hopefully it's not too bad. Um, I feel like this person is very, very genuine, and they're somebody who really likes to open themselves up to new opportunities. I feel like for you guys, this person's gonna love travel and they're gonna be traveling with you. They're gonna be somebody who fully, fully supports you and in your dreams as well, fully supports you in your career and fully supports you in everything that you do, especially with this energy of Sag. There's somebody who's very open and genuine and wants to be with you and wants to express that with you, okay? All right, so let's have a look a little bit more into this person. Apologies for the lighting if it's going a bit weird. Okay, so. How will you meet this person? Okay, so we have... Okay, they're not gonna tell me. It's a surprise for you guys. Through a friend. Okay, so you can meet this person through a friend. When will you meet them? One to three months, hair color. They're very secretive, I feel, because they're not really showing me this person. They've got ginger, so it could be ginger or brown hair. And then we have their eye color brown interesting okay so i feel they could be tall dark and handsome is what i'm feeling obviously those of you who would prefer a woman handsome in a womanly way <laughs> so that is your reading i really hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and if you'd like a private reading all information is down below if you'd like to have a look at my jewelry please uh go check it out down below i have custom jewelry so uh all the links will be down below thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you soon
Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's coming in for you in terms of the next person or the person you will marry. So we have Apophyllite, stay positive, which is really beautiful. So I kind of have an idea of what's going on with you guys. And then we also have, we have three, okay. So we have Garnet. I was so drawn to Garnet for you guys. I wasn't gonna like, I was physically gonna have like physical crystals in this reading, but I thought, nah, I really fancy the crystal cards. Garnet was really coming out. So it was obviously for group number three. And then we have, it's time to transform. I'm always being careful about these candles, like trying not to sit it on like, say a light oh my god okay so all right so i have a lot to say for this group so with this situation i feel like you've been single for quite a while i feel like you've been focusing on yourself and you've been transforming and really focusing on what makes you feel good okay um igniting your passion is really really important and i feel like you're being really really passionate about something right now and really kind of bringing that in garnet's a really beautiful crystal because it's, it's really good for love especially those of you in love situations because basically it brings you back to yourself instead of focusing on the other person it brings you back to yourself and helps you focus on who you are okay so malachi is kind of with this kind of combination it's showing me like a really gigantic lump of transformation which is really really beautiful it's showing me that there's some really big energy coming in for you guys and it's going to really, really transform your life. I really feel that. And with the Malachi, it's showing me that everything is um, in divine timing and this person's going to have a massive heart. Like they're going to really be with you, be very present. And I feel like this is just a message from the universe saying that even though things may not have been great in the past, it isn't that doesn't mean it's going to not be good in the future. And you will manifest somebody who's really on your wavelength. Okay, you will, you will, you will. They keep repeating, you will, you will, you will. And I'm seeing like three people for some reason. I'm being like three guides or three spirits or something like that. It's three people that is kind of around me right now. Maybe they're kind of embodying each of these energies. But I feel like this is very grounded. For you guys, you're going through a gigantic transformation. But it's going to be absolutely beautiful. And I think it's really going to suit you. Okay. So, um, I also feel like for you guys, you could be bringing in a new passion. This person is going to bring in passion for you as well. A very sensual relationship um, and somebody who's really going to treat you well. Okay, so, um, what, other, what cards do you want to start off with? Okay, let's do, let's do these three, four, four first. Okay, so the first one we have is Quinn Kunk's Complexity. We have Leo... We have Chiron Healing, and then we also have North Node Destiny. So this person could be a fire sign. They're definitely part of your destiny, though. You are definitely meant to meet this person. I feel like for some of you, I'm hearing you've had a reading and it wasn't really all that about your future partner. I don't know why I'm picking it up. So that's obviously a very specific message for some of you guys. I'm also picking up on a black cat for those of you. So you may have a black cat or this person might have a black cat. I'm also sensing like a husky or like a fish. I'm like getting lots of different pets. So this person's really into animals. There's somebody who um, is also going for a gigantic healing and they're definitely going for a very similar energy to you. Um, there's somebody who is very, very mysterious. So when you meet this person, I feel like some of you will have different types of experiences, but I feel like for this situation, I feel like they're very complex, okay? So there's somebody who's going to have lots of um, attributes to them. There's somebody who's always going to surprise you in a way where you're like, oh my God, like I didn't think this person was going to come in. Like, thank you so much, universe. I feel like you're going to, like two puzzle pieces are really going to fit together. Um, I feel like it's almost like, okay, this is a very random message, but I feel like one piece is from one puzzle and then another piece is from a different puzzle. And it's, but it's almost like you fit together really well even though you're both from two different puzzles, because it's like you do two different images, but you fit really well together. So it's almost like it's kind of, maybe for some of you, it might be forbidden to have this person in your life. Maybe you have quite a strong um, religious uh, energy or quite a strong sense of like, I have to marry a certain person. There's, the universe is saying, well, get ready, because this person coming in, you're not going to expect them. And look out for... Um, the Juno in your chart because that might give you a little bit of information on what you're going through so look up Juno in your birth chart because you can just google like Juno calculator so North Node Destiny this person is part of your path so don't worry this is basically saying to stay positive like you literally can't avoid this person even if you tried um, they're part of your learning curve and they could also be t a teacher they could be somebody who is a very strong like personal leader I'm hearing they're somebody who 
really helps people to transform their life. Um, and there's somebody who's just really passionate about that transformation. So they might be a organizer. Um, I'm hearing a life purpose coach, um, a life coach. They could be a dog walker as well. Very random, but that's what I'm hearing. Ooh, divine feminine. So this is a person coming into their divine feminine. I feel like both of you are working on the divine feminine, which is very powerful. You know, somebody who's really going to treat you well and somebody who's just going to be really, um, just, just really good for you. You know, somebody who's just going to really treat you well. And there's somebody who's very, very powerful and they really kind of come into their own energy in a sense that they're able to open their heart. And I feel like this is very divine feminine, you know, opening your heart to new possibilities. And I feel like with stay positive, it's like divine feminine is coming and say, look, you just need to focus on your heart and everything will come together. It's a very nurturing, very supportive energy. And this person's definitely going to bring that in. They're working on their feminine energy as well, whether it doesn't matter on the gender feminine, it's just the energy. Um, but they're definitely working on that and they're working on creating a really beautiful energy for themselves. And they're just really lighting them. They just, they light up the room. I'm hearing they light up the room. Alrighty, so next card we have is practicality and we also have patience. So this person can be quite stubborn. <laughs> There's somebody who really works on themselves and because they have quite high standards for themselves, they feel like they're almost just quite hard on themselves. So just be aware that this person, they overthink a lot, but I think it's because they're quite artistic. I definitely think they're very artistic. They're possibly uh, a water sign as well. Um, but I feel like this person is, this energy here is teaching you to have patience. And that's why I think we have to stay positive. This person can be a little bit impatient, but it's only because they have very strong views on things, but in a positive way, it's like it's, it fuels them, you know, it kind of brings them into their own. Alrighty. So let's have a look and see what else we have. Okay. Let me sort out my cards, guys. I'm very bit confused on what's going on here okay there we go all righty so let's see about your person let's see what's coming in we like this card let's do this one okay they're saying this needs to go in the middle so we're going to put that there so queen of cups this is an energy of the divine feminine this is you coming into your energy whether you're male or female doesn't matter gender neutral um basically it's showing me that this person because you're working on yourself, yeah, especially Divine Feminine, we have the Empress here. So you're birthing a new process and the Empress is showing me that this is completely new. This is somebody you've never met before and they're saying work on yourself and make things for yourself and then this person will come in as an extra, which is beautiful because that's, that's what, what we should be working on because then it's not like a massive deal when they come in because you're not relying on them. You know, you want to kind of have them as an extra in your life. You want to share your life. You don't want to kind of make your life theirs. It's basically both in interdependent people. Yeah, basically the lovers sharing their energy, really kind of being in the energy and focusing on each other very strongly. Okay, absolutely beautiful. Let's get one more. The Hermits. This person has quite a lot of Virgo in their chart. I feel there's somebody who is can be quite inward, um, but they use this in a really good way because they're so inward. It's really healing for other people. They can really kind of dive deep and help other people. And they do like to move quite fast. So if you're in a relationship with this person, you can move quite fast with them. There's somebody who could be abroad or somebody quite far away from you. And this person is quite... Um, I feel like they've revamped themselves. I'm hearing they've revamped, they've transformed. So they're definitely not the same person they were a couple of years ago. I feel like you're going to meet a brand new version of this person. Even if you've never met this person, you're going to be like, wow, you're really amazing. And they're like, I haven't felt like this before. It's like you should have met me like two years ago. I was a completely different person. I feel like for some of you, <clears throat> there could be a skater boy, which I don't know why I'm getting that, but I'm hearing the skater boy song from Avril Lavigne, which is funny because I literally picked up on that a couple of days ago, which is very strange, but that normally happens with readings. I kind of pick up on stuff before it happens. Um, well, you know, obviously, but you know, um, so we have the seven and the six. So this person is going to like join together with you. They could have um, life path seven or life path six. They're just somebody who's very observant. And once they find something they like, they friggin go for it. They're not lazy at all. They're like, they use everything to their um, own, for their own positive fire, you know, they fuel themselves and 
I'm hearing to feel yourself will bring in this person. So really being your own best friend. And I also have a quote to share with you guys. And it's basically love yourself like you would your best friend. And that's a really good way of figuring out what your self-love, what your um, love language is as well. So we have eighth house. Wow. So much sensual energy. Holy crap. Scorpio is a very sensual sign and Scorpio Scorpio rules the eighth house so this is going to be a very essential energy both of you your bodies are going to be like intertwined a lot like this it's just so stunning so 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 beautiful this card feels really heavy I don't know why that's interesting okay I feel like it's going to be a very solid relationship though both you're going to be really really solid and just wow like you're you're both going to go into this beautiful emotional card together it's like you're no longer sinking you're just swimming which is so cute and I'm hearing just keep swimming just keep swimming from uh finding Nemo so Jupiter is about expansion so your intimacy is going to expand hugely so everything you've been going for through is preparing you for this right now and this person I feel like I'm actually getting the number 10 so that could mean various things I'm actually hearing for some of you that could be 10 years older which they're saying is fine because you're meant to meet them at that time okay um, I'm also, they're also telling me to show my uh, selenite wand, which is very random. So I'm just going to show you my selenite wand. I don't know why, but if you, um, I don't know why I'm, I'm showing you this, but maybe for those of you, um, I'm actually thinking of selling wands on my website. I don't even know why I'm showing you this, but maybe you guys need selenite. So <laughs> I don't know, but I use that for my intuition. It's very, very handy. Right. Let's get you some uh, dice. I'm just going to do this all at one, in all in one go. Okay. Right, so blonde hair, they could have any type of colour hair, but blonde is what's coming out. Online, we have two years. I'm actually not feeling that. For some of you guys, two years. I feel like those of you who've recently gone through a breakup, two years, yeah, this year feels a bit more right. And then eye colour, we have brown. Beautiful. Okay, so that's your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Also, um, if you would like a private reading, all the information is down below. If you'd like to check out my crystal jewellery shop, then all the information is down below. Thank you so, so much for being here. If you want to like this video, please do like and subscribe and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's have a look into your future person that you will be marrying. So my heart chakra is really doing something. I'm feeling it in, the, in my back. So if you guys are getting any heart chakra energy, uh, moving through Kundalini uh, rising of energy. So that's probably a confirmation for you. All right, so let's have a look at your crystals then. So we have the card of Celestite. So you guys, I feel like we're drawn to this because you want to have more peace in your life or you're drawn to um, the color blue, possibly. You possibly are a water sign, but also you like things that are very calming right now. You want to have calmness in your life. You want to have just, you want to have a relaxing time. I feel like your relationship with this person is going to be very relaxing, super, super easy and very emotionally mature. I think you guys have been wanting that for a very long time. I'm hearing for some of you could have been dating boys. So for those of you who are attracted to males, I feel like you have been attracting in boys instead of men. And I feel like now it, you're attracting somebody who's really, really grounded and very mature. Wow, beautiful. So I'm actually seeing this as the feminine and this is the masculine. And it's funny how I'm seeing that because then we have intimacy. So I feel like for both of you, it's going to be really super, super easy. And it says the, the energy of intimacy supports us trusting that we are safe to allow closeness. So for those of you, you might have been working on intimacy. You might be working on coming together and just being really close and actually accepting things. I feel like some of you may have felt like you can't accept things from your person. They may give you gifts. I definitely feel like you're going to do the love language quiz with this person. I don't know if you've ever heard of the love language quiz, but basically it's really, really fun. You can do it with your, just for yourself as well. Um, I, if I remember, I'll try and link it down below. It's really, really good. It's just so easy to um, to do. And it's really, really interesting because then you can understand yourself really well. Alrighty. So for those of you who may actually be clearing out the clutter as well. You may be clearing out a lot of old energy physically, like physical things, but also mentally as well. I feel like you're coming into a brand new start. You guys are really have like, I'm hearing shaken up and shedded a lot of wounds, a lot of energy that is no longer needed. All right, so we have the ninth house, fifth house and Venus, beautiful, wow. So you guys, if in terms of intimacy, so I'm obviously gonna keep this PG because this isn't an 18 plus reading. I feel like some of you guys may be having intimate times in other places that aren't your house, okay? 
So it's going to be because basically you can't keep your hands off each other. It's going to be really, really beautiful. And it's going to be just really easy. Like you're going to feel really, really safe, especially those who are Scorpios. I really pick up on Scorpio for this energy. And Sag, um, this person has traveled a lot. There's somebody who loves to travel, who finds a great pleasure in travel. And I feel like they have a backpack on them all the time. They could be a photographer as well. Like I feel like they have a backpack specifically for photography because you can get like photography backpacks which have like a slot for your laptop, slot for lenses, that sort of thing, okay? You can tell I'm a photographer, can't you? <laughs> All right, so we then have spec speculation. I actually read that as spectacular. We then have rebellion, endurance. So this is funny because we actually have the sun in Scorpio. Of course we do. So that's really, really beautiful. So we have Scorpio Cancer and we also have Aquarius here. So this is somebody who takes a little bit of time to warm up to things, okay? They can be easily influenced, but they're also quite stubborn. So there's somebody who needs a little bit of time to get used to you, but once they do, boom, massive loyalty, massive trust, massive just full force with this person, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's like, I'm so ready to do this and I really wanna be with you and I'm just so ready. It's like, both of you are meant to meet each other. Like you're so different, but you're so similar. Like you both want the same things and it's just gonna be so beautiful. And I feel like this person's gonna tell you about travel a lot and they probably have a favorite country that they're gonna take you to like, and a favorite restaurant. I feel like food is very important for this person. Whoops. So this person um, likes, I'm hearing likes to pack their bags. There's somebody who likes to prepare. There's somebody very organized. They are kind of in between. Sometimes they're organized and sometimes they like to just do things willy nilly which is kind of like, you know, just whenever they feel like it. So there's somebody who's very, um, very relaxed. They're going to teach you to become relaxed. And this person here, I feel like this could be them when they're in their work mode. They're just very peaceful, very serene. And they're seen as like a leader of the pack. So whatever friendship group they're in, they're most likely going to be the leader, the, the father figure or the mother figure of the group who kind of helps people to get on their path. And there's somebody who's gone through a lot of storms. They've possibly followed people who weren't the best for them and kind of led them off the path. I feel like they could have had a lot of money issues as well. And they could have become in debt because of a previous partner or because of somebody really like, you know, messing them around. Um, also look for ravens. I feel like that's an energy of kind of exiting the premises, which whenever I get that message, it's meaning to let go of of the old and bring in the new. And I feel like both of you are really bring, really balancing your masculine and feminine energies. And this woman is so beautiful. Like I feel like she's just really letting herself go. I feel like normally I see this card as something very deep, very uncomfortable, but actually this time it's like, I'm just gonna let myself feel what I'm gonna feel. And that's what I feel like is the intimacy here. It's like, I'm just gonna let myself do this. And I'm, I actually read that as dive deep instead of the devil, which is so funny. I'm seeing a lot of things that aren't actually there, which is really beautiful. Um, well, who's to say it's not there? I feel like this star energy is really in, um, in, important. It's kind of like they're learning to work on their heart and they could, they could have a tattoo on that exact place as well, which is gonna ex be a sign for you, for this person. Their hair could be quite long. They could have be, um, I'm hearing designing their hair. So they're working on their hair. Um, they could have somebody who, it could be somebody who is very spiritual, just, well, they are, no, they are very spiritual, there's somebody who's quite toned, they could have tattoos on their arms, we have got like a skull here as well, like a head of a, of an animal, so I do feel like they could have like a skull tattoo or something like that, they could even have a motorcycle, which is kind of random, because I'm picturing this person as quite like a free spirit, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like sandals and almost like a tunic kind of situation. They like a lot of natural elements as well. There's somebody who eats organic. They could be vegan, pescatarian, vegetarian, that kind of thing. Um, so obviously a pescatarian, it's like somebody who only eats fish. For those of you who don't know what pescatarian is, and obviously vegan is no animal products at all. So the chariot here, very, very fast energy. They're gonna feel really comfortable with you. Like they're gonna be surprised of how comfortable they are. Oh my God, that's literally what I was feeling. <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, so with this person here, I don't know if you can see that, um, but this person here, I literally felt like they looked like that. That's exactly what I was feeling. Like somebody who, who was either wearing flip flops or sandals or literally no shoes. And there's somebody who just really is open to the energy, um, whatever kind of flows with them. Um, the money follows them. So they may have had a lot of money issues in the past, but now they're really bringing in this energy. And 
this horse I feel like is almost from the chariot. It's kind of like he may have a horse himself or herself, but obviously gender neutral. Um, they could be they could be connected to horses as well in a very beautiful way. Like they could be um, an owner of a farm. <clears throat> they could be an owner of a farm. And they're also really friendly. Like they have a strong friendship group. And I feel like I feel like you can really tell a person by their friendship group. You know, you are whoever you are, whoever you surround yourself with, you know. So this person's gonna have some really amazing friends that you're gonna be really connected to. And this person is not going to expect you to come in and nor will you, will you. I think depends on who is possibly the most intuitive or both of you may be intuitive. Wow, that's a very loud motorbike. Um, you are probably going to really um, feel this person when they come in and it's going to be a brand new start and it's just going to feel really, really comfortable, okay? Alrighty. <coughs> My throat chakra is doing some things. All right, let's have a look and see if it will this person. Okay, so we have Jupiter, fifth house, and we have Virgo. So fifth house is very much to do, I would say, we have the fifth house here as well. Passion is dating, it's ruled by Leo. So this is somebody who can restrict themselves from not having fun, and then they kind of do the opposite, where they just kind of just let themselves go. So they are kind of in and out, shake it all about, do the hokey cokey, you turn around. Um, <laughs> that was a really weird message, but okay. Um, but yeah, they, that's literally them, is they're just so random and they have a really weird humour, but it's really funny, like you're gonna find this person really funny. Um, they have very Virgo humour, right? they, they have very, uh, very sexual humour, I feel, um, but it's gonna be really funny, like I think you're gonna love this person's humour. And Jupiter is about expansion. So whatever the uh, Jupiter touches, whatever house it's in, is going to expand it. So they could have Virgo in their fifth house. It could be Virgo. Um, did we have Virgo here? I don't think we did. No, we had Scorpio, Aquarius, and Cancer. Um, so I feel that like this person is going to be very intimate with you. And with the Jupiter being in the fifth house, it means that the passion is going to be like, boom, so explosive. And I think it's... I think you might have to calm this person down depending on your personality. You might actually big them up. <laughs> it depends on obviously what you need in the relationship, but I definitely feel like it's very supportive and this person can trust you and that's a big compliment because I do feel like they, um, when I say a big compliment, I mean they don't trust people very easily. So the trusting you is a very beautiful thing. So I definitely feel like you're probably going to meet this person in nature. Let's see if that comes out. Because I feel like this person is just really happy-go-lucky. I feel like this is going to be a very random meeting. Right, so online. So I do feel like it could be in nature as well. It could be this year or next year that you meet this person. We have, okay, went from brown to blonde hair. So that, they could actually be dyeing their hair from brown to blonde. And we also have bluey green eyes. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want a private reading, all the information is down below. I also have a crystal uh, jewelry store. If you want to have a look at that, then all the information is down below. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.